Alright guys, so here's what they're watching right now. This is through uh, Sunday AM it says. Um, so as you can see here, this is what we're looking at. The heavier amounts is going to be running through Washington. Parts of Columbia, Missouri is actually in this right here. Eastern half of Columbia, Missouri is in that heavier band of snow there. Bowling Green's up here. And there's Carlinville. Here's Fayette County, city of Vandalia. I don't know why it's not focused, but the city of Vandalia is right here. Centralia is down here in the 7 to 10 inch range. So is Effingham County. So, then the further south you go, obviously the lighter amounts are down here. So, so right now, this is what they're thinking. They're thinking the heavier amounts is in the heavier, darker shade of blue, as you can see right here. So, again, the winter storm warning does remain in effect until midnight Saturday. So, let me open up my weather bug here. And I'll run that by you right quick. <coughs> so as I was saying earlier, if you guys have to travel, you need to do it before the storm hits. Because they're actually warning that travel is going to be very tricky, if not impossible. So... Again, you guys need to pay attention to that. So let's get right into that warning here. As they're showing until midnight Sunday. On here while I just showed you. So this is from National Weather Service. A major winter storm impacting the region through Saturday night, it says. So this affects uh, Bond, Illinois, Adams, Brown, Fayette County. Green, McCoupin, Marion, Montgomery, Pike. And this is all in Illinois, guys. Uh, this includes the city of Centralia, Litchfield, Mount Sterling, Pittsfield, Quincy, Salem, and Vandalia. So, all that area where I just showed you where that dark shade of green is, that's where they're thinking the heaviest of the storm is going to hit. So, a winter storm does remain in effect from 3 p.m. this afternoon till midnight Saturday. So they're looking mainly heavy snows expected, a total of accumulation 8 to 11. So we're going to see what's going to happen as the storm approaches. So we're uh, not actually five minutes into the warning as of right now. So we're going to see how the uh, total amounts change as the storm approaches. So from what I was seeing on the local weather uh, radio station, what they were showing that the Storm ain't supposed to hit somewhere between 6 to 9 o'clock Central Daylight Time, so 7 to 10 Eastern. So if you guys live in Indiana and you're watching this, you guys need to be watching that too because parts of Central Indiana is in the 7 to 10 inch range. Um, like I said, the darker shaded blue is where the 12 inch range is going to hit. And the medium blue is the 7 to 10. So obviously Effingham County is in the 7 to 10 inch range. Uh, Terre Haute's going to get the 7 to 10 inch range. And areas further north of that, in that dark shade of blue area, is going to get, it looks like Marshall's going to get the uh, 7 to 10 inch range. Southern part of Indiana, further south of Terre Haute, is looking 4 to 7, so on and so forth. Um, I don't know if Indianapolis is going to get the 7 to 10 inch range. I'm not seeing further any further east than Terre Haute. So, we'll see, like I said, what's going to happen as that storm pushes eastward. So, like it, and then after that, then temperatures are going to come up into the 40s, you know, one day this week, I believe. But either way, so you guys need to stay safe. I mean, they're even watching over at Lowe's here. Sunday night, low in the upper teens, actually. Mid to upper teens, low 17, Sunday night. So we're just looking at highs in the upper authorities going next week. And the next chance of uh, wintry precip is going to be on Sunday. 
this next weekend coming up. Chalk a 40% chance of frozen mix on Sunday, high 38, and low around 20. So, that's not sa Sunday, excuse me, it's Saturday. And then high is just uh, 25 next Sunday, and low 17 again. So, so like I said, you guys need to be paying attention to this. Right now, I'm not seeing anything in the way of possible power outages, but there is going to be a chance of, you know, light glaze is what they were showing, less than a tenth of an inch of ice on top of that, so we will see how this is going to pan out, we are eight minutes into this morning, um, I will pass along any updated information as I see it, and as the information becomes available, so stay tuned to my channel guys, thanks for watching, and stay safe. For those of you guys who live in Illinois, you guys need to stay safe, guys. Avoid travel if you have, if you can. We'll see how this pans out. I might try to get a video of the storm as it starts. I'll have to turn the light on and charge this phone. So I'll see you guys later.